This is Chris again, and we're going to go over how to use Salesforce tasks to help improve your sales process. So tasks in Salesforce allow us to schedule our future calls and emails and, and other items that relate to the, the leads that we're working on and the content, contacts that we have within our Salesforce database. And they display on the records that they're associated to in the, the, the open activity section for things that are going to happen in the future or that we have forgotten to finish up and activity history is going to display everything that we've done in the past. So if I'm a salesperson and I'm making a call into an account, I'm trying to develop or gain some traction there, I might do what I like to call a qualifying call. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the proper naming scheme within Salesforce. Whoops. I was looking at my keyboard and not the screen to see exactly what I was typing. So we have call qualifying and I'm going to say I'm going to call this person next Monday. This is the call. This call is not started. These are custom fields I just did there, so don't be alarmed if you don't find them on your task screen. So now I have this call log loaded. Then I'm going to make my first attempt at reaching out to this prospect on May 3rd. Now when it comes to major account development or larger targeted accounts, Salespeople, we always need to be ready to that we're going to have to take a lot of different avenues to try to gain some traction and meet these folks either on the phone or in person so that we can develop a conversation and hopefully over the long run a good business relationship with them. So what I like to have people do is when you're working with somebody is to, that's in a targeted account scenario is you want to use the create recurring series of tasks feature within Salesforce. And if this is a, a somebody that's on my targeted account list, I should probably be attempting to verbally speak with them at least once a quarter. And then within this quarter, you should be layering in different types of uh, channels of communication into your targeted account list. So here I've set this up where I'm going to reach out to this customer via the phone every 90 days. And I'm going to run this series of events, of events until next year. 2011 and have it stop on uh, May 31st of 2011. So once I go save, now I come down and you're going to see I have this whole series of qualifying calls. So each day when I come in I don't have to think so much of who I'm going to call. I'm managing my tickler list and I'm managing the steps that I'm taking to reach out and develop my targeted accounts and letting Salesforce do a lot of the work for me. Now as you go forward with these calls, something to think about that I like to do, or a good best practice whenever you have a future call scheduled, is, is you take the call notes from the call, let's say today, and you place them in the description area of the upcoming call. Just to give you a little reminder of what's going on. And that's a brief tutorial on how to do calling tasks within sales. Hey, it's Chris again. Today I want to show you guys how to schedule a meeting within Salesforce.com and have that meeting that you schedule automatically send out an invitation to your contact so that they can add the meeting to their calendar and feedback some information to you that's going to appear in your Salesforce.com org. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to a contact that you have a future meeting scheduled for to plan a new meeting you're just going to want to hover over the open activities link on the top once the open activities uh, related list pops up for you all you need to do is select new event and then the new event screen opens up and we're allowed to come in now and schedule our meeting for this person so here we're going to have a meeting it's going to be next week it's taking place at 10 in the morning it's going to be about an hour long the meeting location is going to be at the MCC office. And the subject of the meeting is we're going to have a meeting and we're going to discuss our support procedures with this customer. So I go meeting, support overview. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you can get into good habits with your naming scheme, 
you're going to be able to better see what you've done in the past within your Salesforce org and it's going to help you improve your selling process if you're a salesperson or if you're a manager it's going to give you better vision as to what's going on out in the field with your sales team or support team whoever's using Salesforce to manage their day to day so we've, we've entered in the subject title of the meeting we have our contact selected now we're going to add a little a brief description of what we're going to do at the meeting what I like to do is put a little intro line in here almost like it's an email Chris um, please let me know of any conflicts with our time and then I'm going to add a oops I'm going to also add a rough meeting agenda for my contact. I just think that's a good best practice for people to be in. So since they're coming to my office for the first time, we're going to give them the company tour. And we're going to go to the big conference room and we're going to review our our support process. Whoa. Also going to introduce some key members of the support team. And we're going to finish it up with some general Q&A. Nothing too fancy. It's a basic business meeting that we're uh, lining up right here. In addition, I'm going to want to also invite one of my business partners to the meeting. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of the page. There's a little section here that says Invite Others. I'm going to click the Add Invitees button. I'm going to go ahead into my contact database right now. I'm also going to invite Betty Blair from American Bank Corp to the meeting. So I've add Betty to the list, I select done, and now once the page refreshes, Betty's name is going to appear at the bottom. But my contact's name isn't down there yet. That is because I have to click the add to invitees list. And the reason I do that, when I add, when I use the add to invitees list that appears at the bottom of the page, I'm going to take all the data that we have on this page and I'm going to submit an email invitation that the customer can interact with. So to do that I'm gonna go ahead and click Save and Send and at this time my inbox and in my of my email system is gonna send receive a notification of an email and everybody else that I've invited to the meeting they're gonna get a meeting request invitation and those look just like this this is what the customer sees out of the box in salesforce.com you can modify this image on the top and the image on the bottom to reflect your branding so you can add your logo up here um, gives it a little bit more of a some people might argue a cleaner more branded look and if you want that it's easy enough for your administrator to go in and set that up so the customer can click right into this meeting invitation then so this meeting invitation screen opens up uh, I'm going to be accepting this meeting and now I can add comments and say looking forward to seeing the MCC ranch you guys rock because all customers think we rock well most customers think we rock so once they click save that's gonna push this data right back into our Salesforce org so that when I come back into the page I go open activities and I go ahead and select the meeting invitation that was just received and I see that nobody's responded because I clicked on the wrong meeting because I have two here and it is this meeting 2.30 we have accepted event it's from Chris Murphy contact looking forward to see the MCC Ranch you guys rock so that is a very quick overview of how to schedule a meeting add contacts, submit a meeting invitation to the contacts, and what it's going to look like when that comes back into your Salesforce org. So I hope this quick overview has been helpful to everybody, um, and we look forward to posting more how-tos in the future. And as always, we hope that you're having a prosperous business quarter utilizing Salesforce.com to manage your organization. Thank you. Salesforce.com.